Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna continue. Uh, we, we ended the streak last time as Samson. It wasn't a very long streak. I wasn't too attached to it, but um, you know, even though we lost that last run, it's one of those rare losses that I actually feel pretty good about. We did our part, I'd say. We, we did what we could to make the, the game winnable. It, from a basically unwinnable situation. We started in a very terrible spot uh, and ended up being able to make it work. Um, at least until the chest, in which case it all came crashing down. But we got like basically zero HP upgrades over the course of that entire run, which was hilarious. Now, somebody up there does like me, apparently. Because we are going to be opening up uh, our very first item room here, and it is going to be Mom's Contact. Mo oh my god, okay, that was really bad damage on my own part there. But again, I'm not used to the cadence of, uh, you know, freezing enemies right off the bat. Um, Mom's Contact is a super, super useful item. Are you telling me that I actually stand a chance to dying to Famine? Let's just fight Famine the way I normally fight Famine. I usually take zero damage against him. So for me to be in this dangerous position already is quite alien to me. Anyway, just get ready to dodge. A little sidestep is good enough. Pretty terrible play so far, but thank God. We got that back, and you know, we might as well be better safe than sorry here and pick up our Spirit Hearts, which will hopefully give us a better chance of getting a deal with, deal with the Devil on the next floor as well. But yeah, Mom's Contact, awesome item to have. Uh, we're not gonna bother with the Curse Room. Ah, you know what? We'll lose a Spirit Heart, that's fine. We're, we're alright health-wise. Two pills. Balls of Steel? I don't want to talk about it. Um, I suppose I should have taken the other health down pill, because if... You know what? I know this is going to cost us a spirit heart, but I think it could be worth it. It could also get us killed. I'm going to walk back in here. I'm going to take this health down pill. I know the secret room's over there, but I'm not going to fuck with that. This is so that if I take a deal with the devil on the next floor, we can get another health upgrade afterwards, potentially. It's totally plausible that this will actually not benefit us at all. But it could benefit us in a way that would make up for getting the HP downgrade. So... That's, a, that's my way of getting back to zero here. Hopefully. Uh, now, of course, we did lose a, another Spirit Heart to make it happen. Let's hope we don't die. If, if we die, I'll be pretty disappointed with myself, considering we are only on the Cellar Part 2 here. That'll be a depressing start to this video. A depressing end to this video, theoretically. I'd probably just start up another one, because that's ridiculous. And for all you people saying, that's not fair, you know, to show us the losses on the first floor. Well, it happens like one out of every 150 times right now. And additionally, it's not like I'm, you know, Cobalt Streak, like I'm, I'm 250 and zero, and then let's just sneak that other one. I'm not suggesting that Cobalt has done this. I'm just saying I know he, you know, really likes to get those like long running streaks going. I'm not saying I'm just gonna like try that and sweep one under the rug. I show you the wins, I show you the losses. I can show you the world, etc., etc. One of my favorite songs from Aladdin, Aladdin, if you will. So, how am I gonna do this? I say, because our reroll's already ready, we fight the boss. I do want to reroll Ghost Baby. We may or may not get a chance. But we definitely want to have a reroll ready for the Devil Room if we get one. We're going to be fighting the Widow, which, truth be told, should be a relatively easy boss fight here. But the Famine fight should have been relatively easy as well. And I managed to botch that pretty miserably. So, um, my advice to myself here is just be smart and... Uh, Whenever there's enemies spawned, focus on taking out those enemies as long as the Widow is frozen, because that gives you a brief window to kind of make things work in your favor. Deal with the Devil Room. We don't take that HP upgrade yet. We should have taken that HP upgrade. Will this kill us? Not if we take nine lives. So I took nine lives. And then we'll take a health upgrade. And then we'll take this. Okay. Um, yeah, let, let's just... That's the synopsis right there. Okay. We went from 2 health to 3 health plus 9 lives. Plus 8 lives, I guess, at this point. Uh, I would have loved to have taken the Pact, but I think, weirdly enough, that probably was... A right way to handle that? Maybe not the right way? Um, that's another health downgrade. Are you fucking kidding me? Like... I'll take it with me, just because there's a chance that we could, you know, get another deal with the devil for two hearts, and then use this to get ourselves back to, you know, one heart higher than that, but... Seriously, like, can we have something slightly good in our pill pool? Not something that just erases a bad effect? Okay, let me guess, this is gonna be like a tears downgrade. Oh, okay, balls of steel. All is forgiven, briefly. This does mean we can go to town on this blood bank a little bit. So we will. 
Mostly really want to snag the HP upgrade here, if possible. Uh, IV bag, okay. Well, the IV bag is a, is a good reroll target, if nothing else. And now we want to focus on uh, our chances to become Guppy, I guess. I feel like we're in a pretty okay situation. Oh, no more rerolls available. Are you fucking kidding me? We could have rerolled the IV bag. Now I gotta roll with Ghost Baby. Come on, game. What do we have in here? Oh, a slot machine. Okay, well, we'll gamble on that once. Uh, it tells me to fuck off, so I'm gonna fuck off. And then we're gonna come down here and get Ghost Baby. And because we have so many lives, I feel like it's absolutely 100% totally uh, copacetic and okay for me to go into this curse room. The chances of it having a guppy item are not terrible. Okay, all is forgiven. We have Brimstone Mom's Contact. And if you're gonna bitch about me picking up Brimstone, keep in mind, on the last two runs, I completely passed it up. Willingly. And on this run, I've already gone through some shit. I've been put through a very miniature version of The Ringer. Like, a miniature short film version of Johnny Knoxville's shitty, um, you know, really offensive uh, Special Olympics film. In any case, this is... I, I earned this. Don't take this away from me. And, um, you know, we're also not in a, a one position. I know it's like a Northern Lion joke. This isn't a one run. This isn't a one run. But, like, sincerely... I always am sincere when I say it. But, um, sincerely, Brimstone plus Mom's Contact is not a one run. That being said, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, anything we can get to up our damage would be even better. Uh, but, you know, being able to freeze all enemies and possibly kill all enemies just upon walking into a room also feels excellent. And Ghost Baby, you know, Ghost Baby is what Ghost Baby is. Half decent at best. Um, kind of like, you know, nobody's favorite part of, you know, uh, let, me, let me think about this one. Nobody's favorite part of a pizza is... The oregano in the tomato sauce. But, I think if you asked most people if they would rather have oregano in their tomato sauce or no oregano, they would probably say they'd rather have oregano. And that's what Ghost Baby is. Ghost Baby's the oregano in the tomato sauce, baby. You know, it's the it's the cilantro in the pho. I know, the, oh, it's pronounced pho. Well, yeah, but it makes you sound like a fucking ding-dong when you correct people there. Um, let's, uh... Probably tear through this pretty easily. We are slow as Malaffy Taffy. The good news is we can freeze, and if we freeze him, we won't get hit, but it looks like we're not going to get hit anyway, so that's great. Thanks for the range upgrade. Uh, yeah, I'll take Jesus Juice. I'll take Jesus Juice here. That's okay. Where did we get that key? Did we get that key earlier and I didn't use it on the item room? If so, that's kind of a little silly of me. I apologize for that. That health downgrade pill, there is still a chance that it's going to be worthwhile. By the way, I, I apologize for offending cilantro lovers. I just want to see what happens. So this should allow us to charge Brimstone a little bit faster. Um, but I thought maybe it might make Brimstone a lot smaller too. Doesn't appear to be the case though. That's okay. It's actually better for me that it doesn't. I just thought that would be an interesting kind of uh, impact of it. So, I don't know. It probably was worth re-rolling, because it doesn't really help us out all that much, but whatever. If it lets us fire Brimstone even a small percentage faster, then I'm okay with it. No more keys? I'd say this floor has still been okay. Getting Jesus Juice is a nice little damage boost for us. Thank you for allowing me to get this World Tarot card. I think the World card is more valuable than a health downgrade at this point. Let's use it right away, though. Alright, so that's going to show us where the secret room is. Still might be worth taking the health downgrade pill with us, weirdly enough. And there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Substantial amount of money. Not going to get quite to 15 cents, which is fine by me because we don't have any extra keys anyway. So let's get this health downgrade pill. Get the hell out of Dodge. Pretty okay position to find ourselves in. More HP would be awesome. Why do you think I got this health downgrade pill? We could maybe make something useful happen there. What I'm thinking is like, don't we fight our next boss. He drops HP. We don't pick it up. Deal with the devil room. Two hearts for the ability to fly. We pick it up, pop the health down pill, and then it turns into one heart for the ability to fly. Almost like a, you know, do-it-yourself Judas tongue, weirdly enough. Curse of Darkness on Catacombs Part 2. That ah, doesn't worry me very much, all things considered. What I have noticed is that... Oh, never mind. I was going to say I haven't frozen any enemies since I picked up number one. And that worried me that maybe the warmth of the, the urine implied in, uh, in number one would perhaps actually, um, you know, melt the freezing before it works. I'm obviously being facetious here, but anyway. Um, thankfully, not the case. We're going to gamble here until we get uh, a key or until we get down to 15 cents, whichever happens first. 
Um, the reason, of course, being that we want more consumables, primarily keys, but we want to save money because keys could drop randomly anyway. Um, and that would be nice for me. The other reason I'm saving this health down pill is if we somehow get, like, PhD or Luckfoot, doesn't it, like, instantly become a good pill, I think? So, or if we, like, put it down and then pick it back up, wouldn't it become a good pill? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. More money. Curse room. I know we maybe shouldn't go to the curse room because I'll lose my spirit heart, which gives me a... Wow, okay. Gives me a better chance at um, taking red heart damage and maybe not getting a deal with the devil. So be it. Alright. The curse room was not very good and neither was that slot machine, but we uh, we continue here. Uh, blood bank. Blood bank damage does not count as uh, red heart damage. There's our key. We use that on shop or item room. I would honestly say we use it on the shop. Maybe we end up fighting Greed. Greed drops some money. We use that money to get another key from that slot machine. Hopefully that ends up being the situation, or maybe Greed drops a little bit of money, as well as um, the Steam Sale, which we reroll into something more useful. Okay, well, that's obviously not how things worked out here. Devil Card is really good, and it's almost certain that a Devil Card would be better than the Health Downgrade pill. I can't believe I even have to say it. But, I'm really attached to the idea of this Health Upgrade pill, like, actually benefiting us in the future, so I'm gonna stick with it, because it's funny. And the other thing is... Oh, well, let's see what this does first. Okie dokie, not thrilled about that on a Curse of Darkness floor, but... The other thing is, with nine lives, you know... It's not... Outrageous to suggest that we're gonna die at some point over the course of this run. Health downgrade is... Or like, a health down pill is basically just, um... You know, a, a health upgrade pill in waiting when you have one heart. So when we die with nine lives, we can just immediately go up to two if we feel that we have a chance to actually, you know, make that uh, worthwhile. All right, there's another key. The area where I was has to be over here, and indeed it is. Okay. So I think that health downgrade pill is actually kind of maybe not a blessing in disguise, but not as bad as it looks. And uh, crack the sky, not very good. Exactly as bad as it looks. Harlequin Baby. Harlequin Baby, it's like the, um, you know, it's like the parsley on the pasta. You'd rather have it, but if it's not there, you also typically don't notice it. I guess. So, it's alright so far. It's alright on ice, alright. And, wow! Um, we got 13 cents from that final explosion there, which is a pretty good payout. We have 28 cents now, but we really don't need money for anything because we don't have keys. Or bombs, or, you know, many things. Okay, um, one at a time. That's how you, that's how you do anything in life. One foot in front of the other. You know, metaphorically speaking. Let us, uh, probably find the boss room up here. Get out of the way of that one, and, uh, good to go. So, want to fight our boss. Maybe snag ourselves a deal with the devil chance. That bomb actually gives us a chance to get another key. Which we're not going to use right there. And we're going to be going up against Duke of Flies. Or, sorry, well, not Duke of Flies. But let's be honest, it's it's the Catacombs version of the Duke of Flies. And uh, the damage and the freeze is working just fine. And I think we have a pretty good deal with the Devil Chance. That totally worked out. We have a two-hard deal with the Devil for the Mark. Which I will take. And then I'll take this health upgrade. And then I'll reroll the Forget Me Now. And it becomes the ability to fly. All right, I would say that that worked out pretty darn well. Now, you know what? I want to take these pills. Because if there's a health down pill, it, it instantly becomes a health up pill. And there it is. I'm feeling like the smartest man in the world right now. And watch there be a health up pill in the rotation too. All right, bad gas and tears up and telepills. Okay, okay. I am the king of the fucking world right now. For one heart, I got the mark and the ability to fly. Uh, technically, sort of. If you want to present it in like the most favorable possible light. Let's go gamble on the blood bank a little bit. Feeling pretty smart about my play here. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like a, you know, clever, clever dude here. Plenty of money, no question about that. Do I really want to telepills here? I feel like it makes more sense to telepills out of a, like a bad situation, like maybe you telepills out of a curse room, or you save telepills for after the mom fight, or something along those lines. Look at me. You can't see me right now. 
But I promise you that if you looked at my face, you would see uh, a smiling, cherub-like individual with the, uh, you know, just childlike wonder exploding from every pore. That was, uh, that was a great floor. Eventually. <laughs> it, it didn't start being too amazing. Oh, I didn't take Harlequin Baby. I got, t I got too wrapped up in, uh, things working out reasonably well for me, and I forgot to, to take or reroll Harlequin Baby. That's dumb. I'm not happy with myself for that, but, uh, it's... It's not giving me too much, uh, you know, downerism after what turned out to be a pretty excellent uh, turn of events there. Now that, like, it was still a small victory. Like we didn't, we didn't get Polyphemus or something like that. We just improved a standing that looked like it was kind of shitty. So uh, our health downgrade pills became much more valuable. Oh, this judgment. One key plus one item is already excellent, but. The more we get together, the more we get together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. So we're at three keys now. Uh, sure, man. Take me down to, to 15 cents. I don't give a shit. We'll probably get more than enough money. And uh, the compass. Somebody out there likes me now. But again, don't take this away from me. I had to fucking work for this one. We'll probably try to reroll that speed upgrade. Remember that I think in the first floor we already took a speed upgrade. Is that correct? I think that might be correct. I can't remember. Now that we have so many different items kind of clouding my vision here, it's hard to remember what we got early on. But I do think that we're in a very enviable position when it comes to snagging a win here. Now, a speed upgrade's not the uh, worst item in the world. I think it's fair to say that it could be better. Um, but we could reroll it into literally anything, even an HP upgrade, so then we'll take that. And we'll, uh fly out of here like a Sugar Ray or a Lenny Kravitz song or, um, you know, Steve Miller band or many bands have written about flying, you know, Nelly Furtado. I could really good. I want to start a Canadian themed breakfast restaurant and our signature dish will be the Nelly Furtada served to the side of Tragically Chips. It's going to sound like I made that one up earlier. That's off the cuff, man. Um, so don't get a swollen member about it. Now, we're going to go up here and our item room is not particularly useful for us our shop I hope will be a little bit on the different side book of revelations could guarantee us a second level cube of meat and we have a lot of money so I think we'll pick up book of revelations use it enjoy our second level cube of meat and uh, then reroll it at our first opportunity we already have the compass wonderful um, I think I might actually open that. I was just weighing the possibilities in my mind. Plenty of rooms that um, are not going to generate any rerolls for us, unfortunately, uh, on the way to the boss room here. But that's all right. Hopefully, we can end up snagging a map or let's open it. That's eh, okay. Hopefully, we can end up sna uh, snagging a map or nun's habit or something as a result of this. I mean, I already paid for Book of Revelation, so I should reroll this. Mom's purse is fine. Uh, the caveat here is that red patch is pretty not great, but if we get a better trinket, that's fine. Fairly, I'd say it's like a two-thirds chance we end up not fighting greed on the next floor as well. Usually once is enough when it comes to greed. Once once is what you get. Sometimes you get more. The more shops you go to, obviously, the higher your risk is, I guess, but um, we're fine. Necropolis 1, not going to fight the boss just yet, just in case we get a chance to use... Um, uh, just in case we get a chance to get deals with the devil. Why would you dodge right into me? That's just that's quite foolish right there. And we'll try that bad boy. And we'll try that bad boy. Very easy. Now we'll fight the boss. Oh, I accidentally almost punched myself in the face with my pop filter. That's dumb. Don't do that if possible. What do we have in here? All right. Well, I should have known, I guess. But sometimes the game can be a little bit wonky with whether or not this actually works. So uh, I'm happy it did. We'll get a second level cube of meat, which will give us uh, a nice little bit of uh, help, especially on enemies that are not really suitable to attack with brimstone. You know, rooms that open with like 16 flies um, are, are a little problematic. Now, freeze you, ideally. The one caveat of brimstone plus mom's contact is that it does lower the frequency with which we freeze because we shoot so rarely. So, absolutely, we pick up cube of meat here. And, um... I can't take Guppy's tail. I will reroll Razor Blade to Guppy's paw. Keep in mind, we can still become Guppy on this run. Absolutely. 
I'm thinking. I'm thinking quite closely here. Um, it's too bad the parasite wouldn't work, because I was thinking like we could use Guppy's paw to, uh, you know, give ourselves more spirit hearts and then pick up whatever item they had. But I don't think that's worth it. Is it worth one HP upgrade to get the parasite? Not with Brimstone. Uh, ha -ha. I think let's just not use the. We don't have enough HP is basically what I'm getting at to, to feel comfortable rolling entirely on Spirit Hearts for the rest of the game. Maybe if I took Book of Revelations. I just want to just come back here and check out our item room quickly because I kind of like mentally rewrote what was actually in there. It's something bad, right? Or something not great at least? I did pick it up already, okay. Um, yeah, so that'll do it for this floor. We might end up regretting that Guppy situation. If only I had one more spirit. I could have bought a spirit art in the shop, I think. That would have allowed me to become Guppy right then and there. But we still have a pretty decent chance to make it happen. And even if we don't, not all our eggs are in the same basket. So I think we're still sitting pretty well off here. This is a huge floor. Look at all of the shit that is available for us to, to play with here. Fool card. That's what you take after the mom fight so you don't accidentally telepills into uh, an I am error room. As much as I love Tough Love, uh, it's not going to do anything for us here, I think. So, we come in here and we gamble low enough to get ourselves access to the boss trap room. Hopefully snag the blood bag, but not too early. Not too early. Not too late. I, that was exactly the right time to get that. Because now we can go in here. And uh, there's more HP in here. Excellent. And we could uh, the fool card out, but I don't think that's smart. I also don't think it's smart to tell it pills out, so let's just be happy with where we're at, basically. Enjoy life. Let Meat Boy finish the job here so we can uh, start by... I was hoping to, to freeze Meat. Didn't work out that way. If only Meat Boy got the extra effects of Mom's Contact as well. Or any of our tier effects for that matter. Um, the eye is frozen. That's the benefit of having Brimstone and Mom's Contact is that any enemies you hit, uh, even when the Brimstone shot passes through, can get frozen. Ooh, that was very close. And if we can just get two more shots in here... Maybe one more shot in here. There we go. Pretty easy. That worked out wonderfully, I'd say. Um, we'll pick this up, and that gives us way more HP and speed as well. And we're pretty close to getting this reroll that we can use. That is Telepills. I think the Fool card is better for now. I'm really hoping we get another... Oh, that's a weird one. I'm really hoping we get another um, shop, and we get like a Nun's Habit. Although we've already uh, exhausted our blood bank, Nun's Habit for extra rerolls would still be nice. We'll get, we'll take that out of the pool. It would be especially nice because we have the library here, but so be it. Let's uh, start working our way over here. Eternal Heart is actually excellent. We have enough Spirit Hearts and enough damage, um, or we have enough Spirit Hearts given our damage that I would expect to not be in danger picking that up right away. But maybe we'll wait until the end because we do have this Fool card that we can use anyway. So I would be the fool myself if I uh, if I wasted it at this point. That was so stupid. I should have just stayed on the other side of the map. But, uh, you know, Hubris got the better of me. Should have paid closer attention because it looks like um, there is a mini boss in our secret room. Presumably greed. I don't think it can be anything else. So that means that I will not have to uh, worry about there being enemies in our shop. I still have to worry about getting the keys necessary to actually, you know, get inside. But... Apart from that, it's all good. So, we can always gamble on our arcade to get more keys if necessary. I just prefer not to do it if I can just find them on the ground instead. Skinny Odd Mushroom. Um, it's normally a pretty good item. The reason I'm not going to take it is because it uh, lowers our damage, and I don't think it increases our rate of fire enough while using Brimstone to, to make it proportionally worthwhile. I may be incorrect in that assessment, but I don't think I am. Now, let's see what this is. I found pills. Well, at least it wasn't bad, right? Unless I was Nick, then I would want it to be bad. Bad rats, am I right? Absolutely, we take the map here. I know I said I wanted to, you know, pick up the um, nun, uh, Nun's Habit, 9 Volt, etc., etc. That's all right. Get this Balls of Steel pill. Uh, the, the library is an interesting proposition. I'm very confident we're not going to get a chance to reroll it here. So, or reroll enough, I should say. So, why don't we just go to our shop? I'm figuring we fight the shop and uh, maybe we get a chance to reroll something from the secret item pool instead. Uh, no, but we did get a spirit heart and it gave us a reroll anyway. 
So we will come up here and use it up here. Don't really have... I mean, I could gamble again on the arcade, like I mentioned, but I'm not going to do that. Instead... I'm not going to do it because I'm lazy, not because it's bad. There we go. That's sort of more along the lines of what I was looking for. Fat Odd Mushroom. I'll open it. Ooh, I don't regret that decision at all. Um, fat Odd Mushroom is much better for us. Uh, lowers our rate of fire a little bit. Not so bad. Uh, increases our damage. Great. And um, beyond that, raises our HP as well. Which really... Uh, makes it the preferable choice for us right now because our HP is fine but it could always be better man how much better would this run be right now if we had a uh, Harlequin baby am I right guys yeah totally um, we're gonna get our reroll up and then we're gonna go to the curse room because remember we still have that little ace in the hole here we could still become guppy and if we become guppy uh, abandon all hope ye who enter here if you're an enemy there's the Polaroid might as well take it to start with I guess just so may maybe I don't fuck myself out of it later and we could still get a deal with the devil after this mom fight. Seems fairly likely given how, you know, relatively well we've handled this floor, I'd say. Don't forget that eternal heart on this floor either. You gotta be smart about that. Might as well, any, any HP lost is HP lost. Sounds like an author. Um, so we have a tears upgrade. Lovely. We have I found pills. Get it out of there. Uh, but it was worth it for the tears upgrade nonetheless. Okay, so we'll fight mom. A fight that I expect will go pretty well. Fool card, take the eternal heart, see if you uh, get a deal with the devil. It's all good. Okay. So freezing the foot, obviously a pretty important part of my overall strategy. Also the name of my uh, debut album. I was inspired by Canadian rapper Snow. You may know him for his smash hit Informer or his slightly less smash hit. The Plum Song, both of which make no sense. Now. Keep this going. Um, we have kind of a bad situation for crowd control right now. There we go. And then, of course, as soon as I kill some enemies, Mom spawns like three more. That's okay, though. That was a pretty good shot. The more enemies we can hit at once, the better it is. Obviously. And freeze. Nope. Okay. Foot. Foot. A couple more hits will do it. Couple more hits will do it. Watch out for the foot. There we go, we did it. Gotta kill an Isla Sue's guy, that's it. We get Pageant Boy. Man, is Pageant Boy ever not good? But, we're gonna fool a card out. Get this Eternal Heart, which was here. We can fly, I almost used a bomb. Then we see if we get the deal with the devil. If we do, that's where we use our reroll because a single guppy item would be so useful. And we've already taken nine lives, so any of the guppy items is, is great. It's a great choice for us. No deal with the devil, so we reroll Pageant Boy and get meat instead. It is still kind of a win-win, all things considered. We have the Polaroid already down to the next floor. Uh, we will go to our curse rooms here because as, as much as I love this run so far, becoming uh, guppy would be even better. So we're gonna check all those out as long as we have the possibility to do so and we're not in too much danger as a result. I think it's a smart idea. We will check out our secret room as well. Bad gas. Well, we don't have anything else. Could possibly argue that maybe I should have taken telepills with me, but let's be honest, it's not that big of a deal. Telepills at this stage in my life has fucked me over more than it's helped me, I'd say. So our curse room contains spiders. Not really what I was looking for, but I think we have a very good chance of getting a deal with the devil on this floor. Let's see what we got here. Secret room contains money. I'm, I was gonna use another bomb, but that would be so stupid because I've already made my way like completely over to where it connects here. So let's just take two seconds and actually do this properly. And as you can see, like on rooms with many targets that have low HP, super easy. Is Lucky Toe maybe a little bit better than Red Patch for us? I think you might be right. Person that I made up in my mind. Now don't forget the Polaroid like you did a couple runs ago. A few runs ago. A couple days ago. Uh, there's our key. Plenty of keys now. We can start opening golden chests. Uh, that was a very risky way to handle this room. I'm not necessarily proud of myself, but that's okay. We made it work, and you'll die eventually. What is that tarot card? Judgment. Yeah, we'll save that for the potentiality of a deal with the devil type situation. We will get a third level Meat Boy for the second run in a row, which is pretty crazy. I did restart Spider Mod in between runs, so um, it's not just like the RNG doing what RNG does and not being super R. Very, you know, kind of dubious R in RNG. Just hoping to freeze the, the horse there. Let's try it again. 
Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Got a little close to, for comfort there. Again, trying to freeze the horse. It'll make it substantially easier to kill. Oh, God. There's our deal with the devil. Don't be... Eh, it doesn't even matter that much if it's Krampus. It's not, though. Okay. So, judgment goes down. I was worried it would be demon judgment, but this is probably okay. Probably. We can play it twice for the cost of one heart, so it's not so bad. Please. Please, Demon Judgment. Don't do this to me. I gotta go for it. Unfortunately. Oh! Paid out with a tarot card. The Magician. That actually fucked me a little bit. Okay, we got a lot of plays here. Make it work. Hey, there we go. Okay. So we have three rerolls. I don't. It helps that I don't want any of these items to begin with, but we've got three rerolls to get a single guppy item. I am actually, as of right now, staring at my screen in disbelief. Maybe as a result of putting Demon Judgment down, I turned this room into like a universal items pool room, and thereby screwed myself out of a better reroll chance. We don't want any of these. That should be obvious. We will pick up this just so we don't have to deal with it again. Um. That is insanely disappointing. Down to the next floor. And yes, our HP is low right now. And we are in a, one of those situations where if we, um... If we die with this life, then shit gets kind of dangerous. <laughs> like, we're not in a, in a great position with that respect. Um, we really need more red hearts, basically. Because uh, otherwise, we respawn with one heart, and that's not going to be good for anybody, except for the troll engine. I really thought there was like an 80% chance we'd get a guppy item there. And I was so looking forward to it and it being cheap as hell as well. Um, we are going to go to our curse room. Still want to become guppy. That was terrible damage. Got some half red hearts though. Thank god we got this magician card. So there goes a spirit heart down the drain. At this point I think it would be very prudent for us to gamble. So we will. If we get back to full health, all is forgiven. There's a little bit of extra money in there, and a little uh, heart as well, and a spirit heart here. Didn't mean to walk into that. <laughs> you could probably imagine why. Could get a better trinket here, too. We're gonna gamble for a while, as long as the game will let us, basically. Hermit card. Uh, better than the Magician, I guess. We can get some beneficial teleportation out of that, maybe. It's gonna clutter the ground up pretty quickly here, though. Alright, what is this one? Two of clubs. We'll pop that right away. Probably not going to need more than 28 bombs. And uh, we probably will, but still. Let's just simplify things here. We've got a long uh, gambling session ahead of us. Alright. Cursed Skull. I wish there was a way to just throw trinkets in the trash. Because they are just going to clutter up the floor. Really? Just want red hearts at this point. If you could just mainline spirit hearts and red hearts, life would be good. We're going to double our keys straight away. Uh, 16 keys is, in that regard, almost certainly more than we'll ever need. Happy to have them, though. Eight keys was maybe a little too low in case we come across golden chests or, God forbid, get Guppy's tail at some point. Like that'll ever happen. Um, don't really want to win keys. More spirit hearts, red hearts, please. We've already gambled a lot. We haven't won any so far. And I should point out, as, as nervous as I may sound, I, I still think we're pretty good, even if we don't get any, any at all, uh, spirit hearts or red hearts from this little gambling session here. I think we'll still probably be totally fine in all likelihood because... We're so much stronger than the enemies we're facing right now that um, I expect we'll get more red hearts than we lose. The sun card also helps out an enormous deal here. Um, so that's what we're going to roll with. We got another one in here. Hermit, what, it, what the hell's going on in here? We want the Polaroid, obviously. Um, not Cursed Skull, maybe. Oh, okay, try this again. And there we go, that's the combination. So the sun card, super useful basically nullifies all previous problems. Come on, Ghost Baby. Thank you. Um, I'll keep gambling. Well, maybe now I'll stop. Because the Sun card is basically full health. Well, it is full health. The longer we wait to use it, as I often say, or always say at this point, uh, the better it is. Hopefully we can wait to use it forever, basically. But it is really nice to basically give us a, a, a free one-up. It's even better than the one-up in some ways. Yeah, and you might be saying, in which ways? Well, it's better than the one-up uh, because you can actually like fight a boss, get it halfway down, 
use the sun card and then keep going as opposed to having to restart from the beginning. So I do think that it, in a lot of situations, the sun card is superior to one upper onk. This is probably one of them. Now another red heart, okay? See what I was getting at there? I know we're at a half heart, inter or we're not at a half heart interval, but I think it's still okay. Third level meat boy, 30 bombs. Well, okay. Thank you very much for that, Meat Boy. That was very nice of you. Freeze actually worked there, though. Now, Meat Boy, if you just stay there, that's your only job in life. Stand under Mom's heart. If you can do that, all is forgiven. Don't kick that over here, motherfucker. Just don't touch the bombs. They're very dangerous, explosive, fissile materials. That was that was my own fault. I don't blame you, Meat Boy. Except I, I do a little bit, but that's okay. Thank you. And there we go, probably continuously firing bombs already. Ghost Baby finished the job, thank you. Alright, now we freeze as often as possible. We deal with none of the bullshit enemies. And we end the fight. And there it goes. Okay, so now we're back to a half heart interval. Up to the next floor. Curse of Darkness, it bothers me, but... It'll be okay, I think. Now, we can just keep like one Loki frozen. That's great. One Loki Frozen, also the best Catherine Bigelow film. Zero Dark Thirty. Anyway, you know that Catherine Bigelow also directed Point Break, the classic presidential surfing, uh, I don't even know what you, a heist film, I guess it is. Cop movie, it's almost a buddy cop movie at times. People make fun of Point Break because a lot of people's point of reference for Point Break is, um, Nick, uh, Nick Frost's character from Hot Fuzz. He's kind of like a bumbling idiot, and he loves Point Break, and he's like, wow, isn't it silly how on Point Break they shoot their guns up in the air and say, ah, and you're supposed to... I love Hot Fuzz, by the way. Um, and you're supposed to be like, wow, this is, you know, bumbling idiot likes these shitty movies. Point Break is fucking good, man. You can look it up. It's got over 60 on Rotten Tomatoes, you know. It's got an incredibly silly concept, and it is cheesy, but that's part of the charm. You should watch it. I know there's supposed to be a re Fuck the remake. Very few cases where the remake has been even close to on par with the original, and plenty of, you know, data points to draw from there. I'm not that as against remakes as most people are to begin with, although, whoever remade the thing, seriously, don't mess with perfection. That being said, um, go watch the original Point Break. It holds up, man. Especially if you're uh, of an adult age, go buy some adult beverages. Invite over some of your adult friends and, and watch Point Break together. You'll have a good time, I promise you that. Now. I know that none of you are going to take that advice. And that's okay, you know, people tell me all the things all the time. Isn't that like a really self-centered way of thinking about it? Oh, we found our secret room. People will be like, hey, I just saw this movie. It was good. You should see it. Don't tell me how to spend my time. I got things on the go. I'll watch a movie when I want to watch a movie, and I'll watch the movie I want to watch. I don't, I don't watch two movies a day for the, the course of a year. That would be madness. It's not like I'm... Oh... Thanks for recommending this movie. I didn't think there were any good movies out there to watch. It's not like there's, you know, 20,000 movies over history that are pretty good and, you know, cultural touchstones, yada yada. Oh, I should really see fucking Thor 2? Alright, I hadn't considered that. Now, let's uh, keep this going here. You're never at a shortage for things to, to listen to, things to watch. Sometimes a shortage of video games to play, but rarely. At least for me personally, but... I'm coming at that from probably a different point of reference than a lot of people. Anyway. I'm gonna just kill you, take our key. And I, I hate when people get like, um... Cause you say like, hey, yeah, that, you know, that album's good, you should listen to it. And you're like, yeah, you know, thanks for being polite, it's nice to talk to you, have a good day. Then some people, the next time they see you, did you check out that Church's album yet? You're like, man, uh, you know, sorry, I, you know, I've, I've been working and, you know, taking care of my family and stuff. Dude. You've gotta listen to that church's album, dog. It'll change your life. This interaction is changing my life for the worse right now. I also quite like churches, you know. Uh, churches. I'm not trying to start a music debate. Oh, it's uh, indie trash, herp derp any I don't care. Okay, you know what? I'll listen to Yaggy Sax 10 hours if I want to. Okay. Keep it up here. This is a nice little distraction tangent that we had going on. Would have been very nice to have Map and Compass working for us here, but at least we are almost back to full health. Yeah, da, da, da. I was thinking about taking uh, Safety Cap instead of Lucky Toe. It's probably a better choice. But for some reason I can't, you know, force myself to give it away. Give it away, give it away now. What I got 
You gotta give it to your mama. Okay, fairly normal young adult male boasting. What I got, you gotta give it to your papa. Well, okay, equal opportunity. You know, man, woman, doesn't care, just wants to get his jollies off, that's okay. What I got, you gotta give it to your daughter. I don't know about that one, Anthony Kiedis. You should at least, you know, what I got, you gotta give it to your mama. What I got, you gotta give it to your papa. What I got, you gotta give it to your daughter, pending her birth certificate showing. Anyway, okay, maybe he's not, he's a little bit more reckless. That would take away from the tone of the song a little bit. You do a little dance and then you drink a little water. That's just sound advice, I guess, for the most part. Um, I'm gonna continue onwards, because then I went through the rest of the lyrics in my head and I was like, you know what? We don't need to go down that road. What I got, you gotta get it, put it in you. That seems like, has that tactic ever worked? You don't understand, we need to have intercourse. I've forgotten the rest, but anyway. How come everybody want to keep it like the Kaiser? Surprisingly uh, apt, you know, World War I era analogy from the Red Hot Chili Peppers front man. And he, unless he's talking about bread, in which case I can understand that. How am I going to get snobby about that? I talk about bread all the fucking time. So, this is the danger zone for us. Let's be smart. The less damage we take, um, the easier our lives become. If I have to use the sun card to survive here, and it's looking increasingly likely that I will, that's okay. Just using bombs because, uh, oh, you know what? I should get the freeze, then bomb. Freeze, then bomb. That makes my life better. The longer we can go without using the sun card, the better our odds are. You're probably tired of hearing me say that by now. Freeze, then bomb. That works a lot better than the super haphazard and, like, lazy way I was approaching it before. We got another freeze in there. Don't shoot your purple shit at me. Don't shoot that purple at me, Isaac. Okay. Don't you shoot that purple at me, Isaac. Don't you shoot that purple at me, Isaac. Anyway. Um, okay. As usual, we end up getting quad shot, which I have no idea how it even works at this point. We probably use D20 on the secret room up here. Always looking to eke a little bit of extra juice out of the, the value here. Uh, and that seems to give us some golden chests, which gave us the Ankh, which seems pretty useful. Um, and the unicorn horn and dad's key. So weirdly enough, we have like a nice second reroll possibility up here. But we're gonna reroll these first. Right, X-ray goggles, Luckfoot. I don't think at this point Luckfoot's worth worth taking. Just too late in the game for Oh shit. Just too late in the game for me to worry about um pills that much. And what's my proposition right now? I feel that if we can get into the boss fight without using the sun card, which is looking increasingly unlikely, we have a pretty good chance of winning. I will get one more, I will not get one more reroll. Ooh, okay. Do we end up taking Lemon Mishap into the fucking boss fight then? That seems pretty shitty. What do we have up here? Were there, there's unicorn horns up here. That's better than Lemon Mishap at least. Dad's fucking key, the sun. Oh yeah, don't forget about that. That's pretty useful. And I think this puts us in a pretty good position now. Uh, how do we... How do we handle this? Do we use Unicorn Horn right away? I don't think so. I think we get Meat Boy charging up here. Try to get the freeze. We'll get a period of permanent Polaroid invincibility. There's the freeze. In the freeze, we put down a bomb. Just a little bit of extra damage with a cherry on top of uh, the damage we're already doing. Try to get the freeze. There we go. Keep it going. He's freaking out a little bit. Next hit gives us invincibility, and that's when we should really start to concern ourselves with this uh, sun card. We're going to be fine. Yeah, we're going we're to be totally okay. About to come out of it, so let's sun card quickly. Um, put some more bombs down. This is a very like lazy and inefficient way to handle this uh, blue baby boss fight. But it's going to work out for us. I'm sorry it's so loud. I don't really have control over that to a large extent. I actually have full control over it. Just not in the moment. And you're hurt, and you're hurt, and you're hurt, and you're dead. So we won. Not surprising, but there were some touch and go moments there. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. If you didn't, well, thanks for watching.